We've been asked to do five different tasks. One of them was an electrical task. The other was a suspension task. There was one which was a driveline task and a full vehicle inspection and a timing belt then. I think they've gone all right, yeah. Not, no catastrophic uh, failures in it yet, so. Today I've been one of the judges taking part uh, with the students examining their skills. The students have been very good today. Uh, we've run this previously and these are probably the best batch of students I've seen through. Obviously, they're, set, they're put under pressure today because in exam conditions. But once they've got over the nerves, they can then settle down, read the instruction, and then go through the task. Uh, they're all matched on criteria. Uh, it's explained to them what they've got to do. Um, everybody's been treated as equal. We're allowed to assist. It's part of the task because it's sometimes it's a two-man job. And the competitors have been great. Confidence is a main thing. What I've noticed with the students that we've had today, how some of them, how confident they are. Um, good hand skills, good coordination, and just being able to not to panic. I think I've done well. Should hoping to get quite high up in the ranks. Yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's been meet a lot of people. It's pretty scary having people watching you because you don't want to make a mistake. I do it because it's a great experience and it looks good on the CVs when you're going for jobs. It's got to be one of the best experiences if you're le learning to be a mechanic or any trade. It's the best experience to go on. Do it because you've only got one chance and if you're over, over the age and you haven't ha had the chance it's, it's bad luck really because it's a really good thing to do. Well I'm looking for health and safety. I'm looking to make sure that they take care of the, of the vehicle, that they're using tools and equipment correctly, and that, and that they, they carry out the task as you would expect them to do in a, in a dealership. I think it's the way they go about the task, it's the way they look after the vehicle, and the way they, they seem to hold the tools, they manage themselves. It's a natural feeling they have about working in, you know, with a vehicle. When you're in colleges you tend to be separated but this is good because you talk with other tutors, you talk with other lecturers and you get to know what their skills are and I think the lads really enjoy it for definite because once these lads go back to college and they'll tell their peers what they've done, how they've done, how they've enjoyed it and I think it can only be a good thing. Well considering these lads are only intermediates I'm surprised how, how well they've all done and talking with the other uh, sort of judges they say it's going to be very close. It's a challenge. I think people like competition. They like to be the best in what they do. And I think uh, that it, it's, it's evident today that the students have really enjoyed themselves and uh, they want to win. I would say go for it. Work hard, learn new skills, try and be the best and go for it. It is the thing to do. It does bring the skill level up and the students enjoy it. Yes, they're under, they're under pressure, nerves do play a part, but they do at the end of the day. If you ask the students, they will have enjoyed the day. Well, hopefully from today, should they wish to go forward to the World Skills competition, they will know what it's like to be examined and carrying out practical tasks. All students today can put on their CV that they took part in this competition. And that takes them one level above any other student.